we welcome viewers from around the world to our educational channel. This video is created for a general audience and is an essential refresher on MPOX, a global health issue that has regained attention in recent years. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. On your screen are the learning objectives for this video. You'll gain a clear understanding of what MPOX is and why it matters as a global health issue. You'll explore the key differences between its major variants, known as clades, and learn how the virus spreads along with the most effective ways to protect yourself. We'll also look at available vaccines and treatments and examine how MPOX is affecting communities around the world through maps and current data. We thank our medical experts for the information in this video documentary. Let's get started. MPOX virus was first discovered in 1958 when it appeared in a group of Asian macaques laboratory monkeys in Copenhagen, Denmark. The first known case in a human was reported in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It involved a nine-month-old boy who was the only one in his family who hadn't received the smallpox vaccine. MPOX was renamed scientifically by the World Health Organization in 2022 from the former name of monkeypox. Its name since 1970. The name change was part of the World Health Organization's effort to adopt terminology that avoids stigma, racism, or misleading associations, particularly linking the disease to monkeys or to specific regions of Africa. The virus spreads primarily through direct contact with an infected person or contaminated surfaces. Human-to-human -human transmission can also occur through bodily fluids, including sexual fluids. Pregnant women with MPOX can pass the virus to their baby during pregnancy, at birth or shortly after delivery. The incubation period, meaning the time between exposure and the appearance of symptoms, typically ranges from 6 to 13 days, but it can be as short as 5 or as long as 21 days. MPOX is a rare viral illness that often begins with mild symptoms similar to those of chickenpox or the flu. Early signs include fever, swollen lymph nodes and skin rashes. These rashes typically develop into pox-like lesions that may spread to the face and, in some cases, across the entire body. The blisters eventually crust over and heal. Most people with MPOX recover within a few weeks without needing medical treatment. However, the illness can be more severe in children, pregnant women, and individuals with weakened immune systems. On your screen is the trend of clade 2 MPOX cases in the US reported to the CDC from January 2025 to August 3, 2025. There were occasional spikes in reported cases, particularly between June and mid-July. Since mid-July, the number of reported cases has declined based on the seven-day average. This color-coded map from the World Health Organization shows countries in Africa affected by MPOX from January 2022 to July 27, 2025. Countries in pink are experiencing active outbreaks, mostly in Central and East Africa. Orange indicates cases reported in the past 90 days, while green shows countries with cases reported since 2022, but none in the last 90 days. White represents countries with no reported cases. This color-coded global map shows total cases of MPOX by country, with the highest numbers in the US, Brazil, and Western Europe. Central and West Africa show moderate case counts, reflecting endemic transmission. Several countries in Eastern Europe, Central Asia, and Southeast Asia report few or no cases. When learning about MPOX, you may come across the term clade. But what does it mean? The word clade comes from the Greek word 
klados, meaning branch. In evolutionary biology, a clade refers to a branch on the tree of life that includes a single ancestor and all of its descendants, a concept known as monophyly. In virology, clades are useful for tracking genetic differences between virus strains, understanding how a virus evolves and spreads, and grouping viruses based on genetic relationships rather than symptoms or location. Mpox has two major clades. Clade 1, formerly called Congo Basin clade, more severe, with higher mortality. Clade 2, formerly called West African clade, typically milder, with lower mortality. The World Health Organization updated the naming in 2022 to move away from geographic terms and reduce stigma. So instead of West African clade, we now say clade 2. Clade 1 and clade 2 now have subclades as indicated on your screen. On your screen is a map showing the geographic distribution of Mpox and the countries where clade 1 and clade 2 are endemic. Areas in light blue represent clade 1, which is found in Central Africa and parts of Cameroon. Areas in green represent clade 2, which is endemic to Nigeria, Ghana, Côte d'Ivoire, Liberia and Sierra Leone. The most reliable test for diagnosing Mpox is a PCR or polymerase chain reaction test that detects the virus's DNA. The best samples are taken directly from a person's rash, either from the skin, fluid or scabs, using a firm swab. If there are no visible skin lesions, samples can be collected from the throat or anus. Blood tests are not recommended for diagnosing Mpox. Tests that look for antibodies are also not very helpful because they can't tell the difference between Mpox and other related viruses in the same family. Mpox can be prevented by avoiding close contact with infected individuals, especially skin-to-skin -skin contact or exposure to bodily fluids. By not sharing personal items like clothing, bedding or towels. By washing hands regularly with soap and water or use hand sanitizer. The website of the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, shown on your screen, provides additional information on prevention of Mpox. Treatment of Mpox is beyond the scope of this video. Most people with Mpox recover without medical treatment within a few weeks. Care focuses on relieving symptoms, keeping skin clean, and preventing infection. In severe cases, or for those with weakened immune systems, specific medications approved by regulatory authorities in your country may be prescribed. Speak with your healthcare provider about medications approved for treatment of Mpox. The United States Food and Drug Administration has approved vaccines for Mpox. A link to the website of the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is included on your screen for additional information about Mpox vaccines. Regarding travel to an area with Mpox, always consult your healthcare provider before traveling to a country or region where Mpox is common or where new cases have been reported. In conclusion, we've covered the key learning objectives outlined at the start of this educational video. We hope you now have a clearer understanding of Mpox, its variants, how it spreads, and how it can be prevented and treated. Thank you for watching, and we invite you to explore more videos on our channel for trusted, easy to understand health information. We hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you found this presentation informative and educational, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing and sharing with family members, friends and colleagues. Your support helps us create more informative and educational content. Until next time, stay strong, stay hopeful. This has been a presentation of Apomolero Media LLC.